Tim Pool has a new theory about migrants and his favorite restaurant, or I should say the favorite restaurant of his audience of 14 year old boys. Here we go. It looks fun. Wisco Welder says the factory I work at that has had low sales for most of this year, they told us the purchase orders have, have significantly dropped and few had big layoffs. All right. Here's why they're ramming as many migrants as possible into this country. Why is Hooters shutting down? Ain't nobody buying chicken wings anymore. They're hoping that by flooding the country with migrants, they'll start going to Hooters. The only problem <laughs> is you've got stories of migrants grilling cats and slaughtering mammals in the street. You need proper integration. Do the people coming here for work permits, do they actually want to go to Hooters and Pizza Hut? Because if they don't, you are not saving industry. You are just creating slums. Ooh. Insane, mind you. But I guess I don't know what else to do. It looks fun. Wait, so the premise is that you're trying to say that Democrats want migrants to come to this country to fill Hooters? To be consumers? To be consumers. Well, it's an interesting projection because right wingers want undocumented people in this country so they can be a labor force that's entirely exploitable yeah. and is under uh, like a very precarious situation in society where yeah. they can get deported at any second and Save they can for have instance, their wages stolen. Say, for instance, it's the late 80s and you're uh, taking asbestos out of the Trump Tower um, and you have that big tough deal to do and uh, you want to save a few bucks so you have one of your guys go to uh, a bunch of undocumented polish laborers and have them take out the asbestos uh, giving some of them cancer uh and uh, then um uh tell them actually we're not going to pay you until those undocumented just hypothetically speaking undocumented polish workers threaten to kill the guy <laughs> that yeah. you had line up that job um but that's exactly how doc, uh, how capitalists like donald trump and again like marco rubio is i think the only person to ever make this point um that he abuses uh undocumented labor and the line that the thing that he didn't draw attention to is that the whole um enforcement of border security the ice and the what it what it was before that i'm blanking um that border security is what capitalists call when they have uppity undocumented workers that aren't actually doing anything it's not actually meant to do anything before that mm -hmm. uh, and get those capitalists in trouble uh, yeah and i'm I, i'm surprised to hear that uh these haitian migrants they don't eat oh wait, that's what he's saying i just put it together the insanity uh, they're eating the dogs the they're dogs. eating the cats they're not eating pizza hut Bro, and that's Hooters. crazy racist i didn't even connect <laughs> that dot but yeah of course I, I here's the thing i am willing to bet that actually uh some immigrants would regardless of where they come from whether it's haiti uh wherever um yeah also they go to these american chain restaurants they might go to maybe certain different restaurants you might get different restaurants in your community that they serve more readily um but also like it's so weird like that that's such a weird theory that the democrats are trying to flood communities to get consumers to save the thing like the actual theory would be that they're flooding it with undocumented with with uh cheap laborers and the answer to that is labor enforcement and unionization so, uh, so there's no pizza hut in haiti but there is a domino's pizza in port-au-prince did you know that sure um uh, i've i've been to uh my my stepsister lived in vietnam for a year went to visit her there fast food american restaurants all over the place that's the thing about globalization uh there are mcdonald's in many countries in africa there are fast food American restaurants in Haiti, including a Domino's. Maybe they're more Domino's yeah. people than Pizza Hut people. Hooters, you know, I yeah. think they might be able to handle the chicken wings and the tits. I think they might be able yeah. to do so. I mean, no offense to Hooters, but bro, food is not great at Hooters. I, no, they, but, uh, no. You my generation aren't really going there either. <laughs> I know, I know. People don't go to Hooters for the food. I think that's, that's kind of commonly recognized. But um, so that's what he was trying to say is that there have been these claims that the uh, Haitian illegal migrants here under temporary protected status are good for the economy. You had bosses saying they were good employees and not on drugs. Like and it the raised other the tax base. Like these communities yeah. are dying. Tim Pool is helping destroy all these communities because guess what? A lot of these towns that are dying, um, vast majority of them, uh, which is not to say Springfield because the tax base uh, increased in Springfield because of this. But the towns that are dying that we hear about 
in the Rust Belt, they're not dying <laughs> because refugees are going there. They're dying because everyone's fucking leaving because the economy's dead there. Exactly. So he's trying to undercut that claim by saying they're not going to help the economy because they're not like us. They don't eat American food. They eat dogs and cats. So <laughs> he's trying to triple, quadruple down on the racist othering but what in the most stupid way i've ever heard in my life and what you should know and like i'm from uh, mandan north dakota and the crazy thing Coastal to me is elite. like the idea that like a whole bunch of people from different part of the world moving to my community would be bad to me never occurred to me in my entire fucking life I would have thought, cool, it's nice to have more people here because there's nobody the fuck out here and there's nothing going on. Um, and, and you see everybody, like you see brain drain. You see all these states, people like me, move because there's no economic opportunity there. Okay, sell real estate. <laughs> you know, do these other things. Like, or go work in the oil field or something like that. Um, this, what Tim Pool is doing is killing your community. If you are in one of these small towns in the Rust Belt, he is killing it with racism that is what's happening to these towns now and it's 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 fucking depressing because that's what all, and kowalski i've talked about this too like that's what we need is uh, we we have plenty of room for all of the people we've displaced with our fucking foreign policy across the world um the least we can do is offer them um ability to escape that and build a life yep um that's still frankly problematic with the type of brain drain that creates in the well, rest of the world but it's at our advantage i mean cnn interviewed or I, maybe it was nbc i'm sorry if i mixed it up but one of the haitian migrants is living in springfield who was a doctor in haiti and then he came to the United Always States the and he's self-funding his nursing training because he's had to take a massive hit uh, in terms of where he is at in the hierarchy of his career as it relates to his expertise to escape a horrible economic and political situation created by centuries of Western involvement in Haiti's political and economic affairs as it dates back to slavery how France forced Haiti to pay reparations to former slave owners because they had the gall to have a successful slave revolt there. And then subsequently, the United States filling that vacu vacuum for years and years and occupying Haiti and all of that and replacing our their leaders with the ones that are more favorable to the West and over and over again. Obama and Hillary that, Clinton State Department saying, hey, uh, do not raise that minimum wage. We got uh, Haynes or no, maybe it wasn't Haynes. I forget the Levi's to make. And so for that, that doctor has to come and then spend his own money training to be a nurse in this country. And then apparently they're the ones who get to get demonized in the press because of racists like Tim Pool and his audience. Who, again, are the reason those communities are dying. And that, like J.D. Vance is the perfect vice president for this because he's willing to come from these dying, uh, forgotten communities and say, actually, it's all our fault. Uh, we're not like we're um, uh, and it changes based on, you know, who he's running for. Now it's like all the immigrants. It used to be like, oh, it's our own fault for not like going up and getting it. And what getting it means to J.D. Vance is rubbing the feet of venture capitalists like Peter Thiel. Um. El Knipshion writes in the important details that the Haitian doctor you mentioned couldn't transfer his credentials. Yep, exactly. I mean, that's always the way. That's that's what um, what we do here, um, and it's 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 awful. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn off the voicemail. I'm sorry. We're gonna read some IMs and then get out of here. Uh, Skidmark Twain says, I attended a city planner conference in a Rust Belt state. Everyone agreed that immigration is the only way to save a lot of the dying and shrinking cities. Erica from New York, all these haters on the witch hunt after Mayor Adams need to be ashamed of themselves. The dinner table of success gained a lot of new haters this week, and it saddens me to say this, but it seems that New York is now the Pyongyang of America. <laughs> uh, I love the, these guys talking about lawfare. I know. I know. Hey, folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.